All right, uh, welcome everybody to the Savius headquarters in Walnut Creek. Today we are going to be introducing the Savius Insight. So you just received this box and it's your brand new Savius Insight unit. What we want to do today is take it out of the box, talk a little bit about it, and show you how to connect it. Let's go for it. All right, so we've got the device out of the box, and here's what is included. You've got the unit itself, and of course, a power supply and an RJ45 network adapter. So, as you can see, very small device. Uh, there are no moving parts in this device. It's very lightweight. You basically connect it between your cable modem and your router. On the back is the power adapter, where you'll connect it up to your power, and a on off button and a reset button that uh, puts it back to factory defaults. Everything else is on the front. Here we've got our six ports, uh, two of which are hardware bypass. And that is the primary use case for this device, is to connect it between your cable modem and your router. And that way it can analyze all the traffic going through your network. There are a few other ports that you can use to connect and capture traffic from various network segments in your office. And then there is also two USB ports and a serial connector if that's how you want to configure it. However, the device is configured by default for DHCP, so when you connect your management port to ETH0 here, it will automatically acquire a DHCP address and you can use that address to connect directly to the device. All right. Let's go ahead and connect the device up to the network so that we can configure it and access it with our software. So first of all, we're going to want to plug the device into the power. Power has a nice little uh, screw here so we can connect it nice and snug and if it gets a little pull, it's not going to be pulled out. And then uh, we are going to connect our device between our cable modem and our router. So. Here's my cable modem, and here's my router. Of course, we're going to use the bridge ports here. And by the way, this is a hardware bypass. These are all 1 gig ports, so you can connect this up to a 1 gig network, and all the traffic will pass through without any problem. So here's my cable modem, and here's my router. I am now in line to my network, and when I turn the device on, all the traffic from my network will pass through this device and we'll get all the analysis we need to have remote visibility into this network. Finally, of course, we will need to connect it uh, to the network itself, uh, to uh, the management port, so that we can interact with the device. That's ETH0. And as I mentioned before, there are a few other ports if you have internal segments that you want to monitor. So with that, everything's connected, and we'll go ahead and hit the power button on the back of the machine and you will see the lights come up and it will go ahead and boot. Uh, so you know give it about 30 seconds to a minute and it will acquire a DHCP address by default and you will be able to use that address to connect with either OmniPeak or your web browser to get to our dashboards or to our web config page, which you can use to, to uh, configure various settings on the device. So it's, it's probably almost done. Now, by the way, if you don't have a DHCP server or you want to enter a static IP address, you would just not connect the management port to the network. You would connect the management port directly to your laptop and there would be no DHCP server, so it would default from DHCP to a static IP address at 192.168.1.21. So then you would set your laptop to like .20 and you could access it that way and give it whatever IP address you wanted. Uh, it is set for DHCP because when you buy these in multiples of tens or twenties or hundreds, uh, it's much easier to deploy them to your remote sites and hook them up in DHC, DHCP mode. So there's Savius Insight in a nutshell. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this helps you to get going quicker when you receive your Savius Insight device.